The global economy has struggled for the better part of a decade, thanks in part to fluctuations in global trade. Historically, global trade has affected global GDP in a fairly predictable manner. As trade grew, so too did global GDP. But the 2008-2009 financial crisis undermined the link between trade and world's gross domestic product. Global trade has slowed, and yet many of the world's economies continue to grow. Our feature story sets out to show why this is so, and what it means for the future of international commerce. And trade also pertains to our story on Germany, which has been the engine of European growth for the past 20 years. It has imported commodities and unfinished goods, and it has turned them into high-quality manufactured goods before exporting them to the rest of Europe and to the world. Now, the model made the country wealthy, even if it hurt the European Union as a whole. But now the German economy is changing. After being driven by exports for many years, growth in Germany now relies on household consumption and government spending. This development is the product of various wider trends, and if it continues, it will have implications not just for Germany, but for the rest of Europe. Meanwhile, Russia's economy continues to suffer. Russia's oil and natural gas industries are in desperate need of foreign financing. With energy prices low and Western sanctions making the country's recession worse, its oil companies have already been forced to put some of their largest projects on hold. Russian leaders, however, may have found a partial solution, but it's a solution that requires a very difficult geopolitical task improving Russia's troubled relationship with Japan, which holds a lot of the money Russian industry so desperately needs. For these and other stories, check out our April issue of Compass, which publishes today.